So we're going to have a look at punching and it's one of those basic introduction techniques that you learn back at beginners level that I see problems with even sometimes in the black belt gradings. So let's go through this and this is an opportunity now to really have a look at your punching. My recommendation is if you've got a, a, a phone with a camera on, video yourself, watch yourself do this and see if you can get this twist I'm going to be talking about. So from your guard position, what we're going to do from here is we're going to do a jab technique and we're going to do a double punch technique or a jab cross technique, um, but we're going to have a look at it in finer detail. How do we do the jab? Well, a lot of people, first of all, they get their wrists wrong. And what we're going to aim to try to do, we're going to go back to real beginner's level here, is make sure the hands are open to start with. We curl the four fingers in and the thumb sits across the first and the second finger there. Okay, you can see where it goes across the first and second. It doesn't sit to the side, doesn't sit on the inside. So let's get that bit right first. Beginner's level, but again, I can still see, I've still seen higher grades with thumbs here. Not so much here, I have to say, but certainly to the side. If it's to the side, your thumb's going to get hit first, you're going to damage your thumb, it's not strong, your wrist is weak. So here, making sure that's in position there. Number two, your wrist needs to be straight, obviously, fairly obvious, punching like that or like that is not going to do you any favours and it's going to lose you a lot of power. So from guard position here, we know how to do that. So from that position there, as it extends forward, we're going to get that little bit of twist at the end. I still see a lot of students punching here. Some martial arts, karate, they do a punch this way. Absolutely fine if it works for karate. For us, we're going to add that little twist at the end, which will help increase the power. What we're going to do is make sure we remain nice and relaxed. We do speed, we stay relaxed, we don't tense. Speed, speed, speed. And right at the end is when we tense. Tense the arm, tense the shoulder. And that's when the little bit of power, a little bit of key art, or the little bit of air coming out here, coming through, will give you that extra bit of power at the end there. So a couple of ways of doing this. We can literally just bring the shoulder back very slightly here and extend the punch forward. In fact, you can, in fact, just do the jab from here and punch through by extending the body this way. So let's have a look at that one first before we go on to the full body twist. So here's a jab, nice and simple, from normal guard position. And if you have a look at my guard position, I'm at a slight angle. I'm not fully sideways on. I'm not at a 45 degree angle, about a 30 degree angle if that's useful to people. And from that position, all we're going to do is the arm will come forward and I'm going to stretch that body forward. So if I don't stretch that body, you can see I've lost about six inches off the punch, but I'm also going to lose an awful lot of power. So from here, we're going to punch forward this way. So you can start nice and relaxed, bring your hand back to guard position and you can try five practice punches from there. This is more beginner's level, but higher grades. If you're unsure whether you've got the perfect punch, have a little look at this. So from guard position, what we're gonna do is not pulling back first, we're just gonna extend forward, stretch and twist. Make sure you keep looking towards your punch, make sure you get a twist at the end, back to guard. Now I see a lot of students lovely punches, but they're slow back to guard. I wanna see you back to guard as fast as you can. Why? It's there to protect you. It's there to protect you. Maybe we need to use it again for something else. So again, here's the jab coming through, and we're gonna do five, what we call extended jabs this way, so we're just gonna extend the body, stretch forward, that's two, and that's three, and that's four, and that's five. So jump change, have a go on the other side. So again, twisting through, twist at the end. The later, the better, from his position here. Extend through. So it's not a ma massively powerful punch, but again, it's more of, a, more of a sort of speed punch, force the guard up, so then perhaps we put a leg through from the middle section here, knee kick, front pushing kick, front raising kick. So from that position there, didn't get the twist, we're gonna do one, and again from here, just extend. You can see I haven't pulled back first. So it's a quick punch, quick punch. That's, that's four, I think, and five, do five of each. So there you go, you've got an extended punch from there. Let's have a look now at getting a bit more power. If you've got a bit more chance to, to get a better punch in there, a bit more power, we're going to do an, an extra bit of uh, a move here to gain more power. We're going to bring the shoulder back slightly here. In fact, what you can do is you can pull the arm back and extend, or you can pull the arm and the shoulder back and extend. And remember, we're still going to extend it as we did before, but this time we're going to get some build up to it by twisting the body back. So you're going to pull back and extend through here, this way. Bang! Gonna punch through, again relax, keep the body, the muscles relaxed, but work speed. Speed, 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 and then tension, that little twist right at the end from here. So pull back, bang! So the idea of this is, not so much to force their guard up, or to force their guard down, this is to hopefully finish the fight. And can a front punch like that finish a fight? Yep. 
watch MMA fighting, watch boxing, it works. The jab is a powerful punch. This one we did before, that's about speed. This one's about power and speed. So pull the arm back, pull the shoulder back slightly, and then we're gonna extend forward, increase the power, extend as before. You can see where my guard position was. I'm now twisted from here. So we're gonna do five of these. These are power punches, power jabs. Pull back, punch through. Pull back, punch through. Pull back, punch through. Three, four, five. Good. So they're not gonna be as fast or as quick to get to the opponent as the little jab, the little extended jab. But this is a power punch off the jab. It's definitely gonna be a lot stronger if you've got that chance. So we're gonna go from here again, pull back. Arm comes back slightly, shoulder comes back slightly. Extend, don't get the extension, don't forget your guard. From here, so it's jab, again, it's a power jab. Bang, punch through. Punch through, take a deep breath. Remember, speed, 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 and a little bit of tension just there at the end. From here, bang. Again, keep it up. Again, pushing it through. One more. Good, now let's go to jab cross. So never having the stance too long again, we've talked about this one. Shorten it even slightly more this time. We're not using the legs this time, so we can probably afford to bring that in a tiny bit more, just a tiny bit more than normal. From guard position here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our, either our speed jab from here, or we're gonna do our power jab, your choice. And then from this position here, the back arm, particularly as you can see the body's extended, this back arm's gonna come through from here. Watch your guard position, let me show you from here. Jab, cross. Now this is important, watch what happens to my back foot, if you can see it, have a look down. As I extend the hip, let the hip come through, the shoulder and the arm come through, my foot is relaxed and it's turned, naturally turned. Don't have to force it, it should naturally turn. I see a lot of students, including high grades, from here, no twist, so you're limiting, you're losing at least three quarters of your power by not using that hip. By extending that hip, you gain a lot more distance, you capture the opponent hopefully better than you would do if you didn't extend it. And this time, you're gonna generate a lot more power. So shorter stance, maybe if you're kicking from here, jab, don't get the twist, and the power through from there. So this time, you can probably afford not to have to pull back on this one. This needs to be speed. Again, you can try a high one and a middle one. You could try a middle one and a high one. You can mix up the heights from there. But let's have a look at how we twist this through. I'm gonna do a slower twist through. We've done this one already. And then this one's gonna come through. Look at my guard, it's coming back into position. You can see how I've extended. Now have a look at my shoulders. Again, from here, as I punch through, you can see how that hip and shoulder has all, all come forward. So slow it down. Just get that extension. Now do you feel like you're stretching, you're trying to grab for something here. One and two. One and two. Again, let's do three, that's great. Four and five. Back to guard each time. Jump chain. Let's do five on this side. One. Again, get this stretch from here. Extend through. Stretch it through. Two. That's good. Really almost exaggerate it if you have to. Watch that front foot. I see some students trying to punch from that foot turned. Keep it pointing forward. One. Two. Keep the feet relaxed. Don't be too tense with things. Speed. Remember? Tension at the end. First one. Just work the speed with it, okay? Quickly as you can. We show you from the side. Here, here, nice and quick. One, two, bang. As you get better, as you get high graded, I don't want you doing this. I want you trying to work as fast as you can. Work the speed. So again, let's do three. Let's do one, a couple more, four. And give them here, five. Back to guard each time. So what we've covered is a little speed jab, nice and quick. Get the twist at the end, done a power jab, pulling back, punching through, and we've done a double punch. Try some double punches, high section, try some middle section combinations, try some high middle, that works very well, popular combination. Try some middle high, but most importantly on that cross, really get that extension, really push through from that position there. Thank you.